Have you ever wondered what animals actually do in heaven? Because I have. I also just so happen to be gifted to get some of those answers. My name's Dakota Lee. I have a gift to see in the spirit. I'm also a professional animal communicator. This is Blue. And I've got my other dogs around me right now too. And I'm gonna tell you a story that I just learned today. I rarely talk to animals who have passed away because only God lets me talk to them sometimes. And I'm a Christian and, and I've learned the hard way why I shouldn't just talk to all the animals who have passed away, but there are times that God will let me, <laughs> there are times that God will let me talk to certain animals that have passed away. And one of my friends had such a cat that passed away and I was talking with her today. Just asked God if it would be okay if I talked to this cat. I got a yes, and so I reached out to find the cat, and sure enough, he was waiting for me to tune into him. His name is Blinks, and I connected with him and asked him all sorts of questions. Where are you? How are you? He was happy. He had a couple messages for his people. And then my friend wanted to ask, well, what are you doing all day? And he told me some of his activities, and the most fascinating one he said was, I hunt. And we both go, what do you mean you're hunting? And Blinks told us that he showed me an image from his perspective, growling through golden grass in a golden field, which is totally heaven, and chasing a grasshopper, the spirit of a grasshopper. <laughs> He'd go after it, he pounce it a few times, it would flutter away and then land again. And finally, when he would pounce on it, he'd get it under his paws and he'd get his little nose up to it to look at it. And he'd open his paws and the grasshopper would fly back out. And what Blinks told us is that that was successfully hunting it. But oftentimes when it fly, flew away, he would look down and sometimes it had, the grasshopper itself had left like a treat for him. It didn't happen always, but sometimes it did. And he would get to enjoy something that this grasshopper had left for him. Now, nobody needs to eat in heaven. You don't have a physical body anymore that needs sustenance, but it is fun and nice to eat sometimes and entertaining even to eat sometimes. And I asked Blinks that it's hunting, but you didn't kill anything because nothing can be killed in heaven. And he goes, uh-huh. And I go, okay, so sometimes you get a treat and sometimes you don't. What well, makes the difference? <laughs> and Blink said that he had to learn when he first got to heaven, he would start hunting. And a lot of cats, especially indoor cats, get to heaven and they just want to explore all their wild instincts. Cats, I've learned, really have to pull a lot of of their instincts back in order to live peacefully with people and they get to heaven and their first desire is to let it all go. He said that when he first got into the field, he'd look for anything that moved. And when he would go after a grasshopper that didn't want him to go after it, it would flutter away after he pounced on it and there'd be no treat. And it would just be sort of mildly annoyed, but even then just like, Ugh, I'm leaving now. And then he had to learn that there were some grasshoppers that would consent to being hunted, heavenly hunted, and others that weren't interested. And so he started going after the grasshoppers that consented to being hunted. And every time he went after one of those, the grasshoppers were playing a game with him. Mm -hmm. They were playing a whole game with him. He would pounce and those were the ones that, would left, that left him a little version of a treat. That is amazing. And you know, I've heard stories about on earth indigenous tribes sort of asking, praying for there to be an animal provided and almost like asking the wild herds, can you please provide an animal? And oftentimes, this is of course all anecdotal. I'm not sure if this has been studied before, but they would, they would go out and sure enough, an animal would be apart from the herd and, uh, and they would hunt it. It wouldn't just stand there and give up, but essentially after they spent some time going after it, uh, they would kill the animal, be thankful, thank i think the animal and then take it back home and know that their tribe got to live live another week live another month you know one of the biggest prayers as christians we know is is the the our father let it be on earth as it is in heaven and in heaven animals can consent to be hunted although they can't die and it makes me think maybe those tribes had something something right <laughs> to ask and consent I don't know. It just, it just, it just makes me think.